Hi guys, my name is Masha and today I'm going to show you my engine that I'm currently writing and I hope you're gonna enjoy it. Uh, so it's written in uh, Vulkan using C++ and uh, now I'm going to show you a small structure of the project and now here like, you can see uh, inputs, uh, also levels libraries, shader folder, CRC folder with C++ files, and texture folder. Um, I guess I'm going to show you how it looks like. It's already compiled. It should be workable for uh, Windows and Linux, but I haven't tested it for Windows for a long time, so I'm not sure if it's working still. Uh, yeah, the window should be resizable. I hope you still see it, right? Um, and we are going to create a small level. Um, here you see items you can add. Uh, camera is not working yet, so I will just open it. And in folder textures, we will see this one. I will add it. Um, basically, I'm now just showing the path the picture. I'm going to use this background um, and I'm going to increase amount of objects to one and add a floor object so we will have some small physics. I am setting the level and it should appear here as a six level. You can see that yeah it has all the items that we want. Also now it's adding one additional object item uh, and I don't know why. I guess because my level or uh, asset manager is pretty shitty but I'm going to change it. So you can see that now it's also a bit broken because we don't have all the items that we want and I will just load level manually. And now it's all right. Um, I will also add a collision for a player and recreate the level and load a new one. And now you can see when I press escape, it starts to going down and I can like do something similar to jumping, but it's not jumping. It's just a proof of concept, I guess. Uh, I will also try to show you that level can be recreated or oh, yeah, yeah I can reload it and for example if I want to change the texture in the best uh, situation it will work Wait, uh, yeah we can see it but collision didn't work for some reason who knows why so now we are going to go through the project a bit. Um, I have made file that should compile it for Windows and Linux, but I'm not sure if it's still working, but for Linux it works, so why not? Uh, then I have a main uh, file where I create engine instance and uh, run in initialization code for Linux and uh, then I enter the main loop. So uh, here it is creating a CV uh, window. Uh, also, we will have a event handler for keys. I use a bitwise operation to check uh, player state if it's like falling down and moving left or right. Um, it's also like uh, pretty. Um, not nice now, I will want to recreate it better. And then we have initialization uh, file, uh, or file function where I init engine. It's uh, basically just uh, creating placeholder uh, with this red background that you saw. Uh, and uh, we have uh, initialization. initialization in it for Vulkan and 
I create here a uh, physical and logical device, swap chain, image views, uh, command pool, render pass, pipeline, textures, and so on. And uh, it's not that interesting to go deeper because I was just using some tutorials and uh, guides. And uh, for now, it's uh, pretty easy in implementation. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it when I will want to move uh, my engine into 3D space because uh, for now it is um, working with one pipeline for uh, triangles that uh, I. With, with what I create a rectangle to put a texture on it and uh, if I may call it sprite in the end uh, but I'm not sure how it's going to be when I will do uh, 3D meshes and so um, then I have uh, init send uh, function where I update the scripter sets and uh, getting my triangle meshes and materials um, and also uh, I am pushing render objects to the key um, anyway then I also need in GUI it is not here it is in UI I guess right. So, yeah, I was uh, using uh, GitHub uh, code from one guy who implemented it for XCB because we didn't have it in their implementation. And then I have entering the main loop uh, where I also check game states, which can be uh, engine editor or uh, playing the game and or exit. Uh, so exit is the easiest one I just do clean up of all allocated objects when I am in engine editor I have uh, your uh, I'm calculating the FPS of course uh, I'm uh, calling UI function where I uh, check uh, what state we have if we have new level or load level and it's as I said pretty uh, shitty right now I have this uh, level manager class and I am uh, uh, doing it pretty badly I uh, use uh, super simple parse uh, parse implementation for parser um, I'm using like stuff as stoi and atoi uh, and it's pretty I'm, I'm just looking at it and I see bugs uh, everywhere but I wanted to make it as faster and now I got what I wanted, but uh, I, I will I will rewrite everything. Uh, so if anyone knows about good uh, asset manager uh, implementation, please let me know. So yeah, uh, then I have a draw function where I render in GUI. I'm checking if I should reload resources. I'm checking if I am updating windows. And then just as usual, uh, I'm a beginning common buffer, beginning render pass, and I'm drawing the objects that I pushed into the render key. But it's also like unused code from the tutorials that when I was like trying to create uniform buffers for shaders and stuff, um, then I'm just uh, yeah copying everything that I want and and, and um, yeah calling draw function so yeah I guess that's all I hope you enjoyed and um, see you next time